Hi everyone, year 2021 is almost winding down and I'm pretty sure you are very hopeful to start year 2022 with a bang and maybe have a lot of resolutions in terms of learning something new. And if that something new is learning about machine learning, then I have a few recommendations when it comes to uh, certain books. And these are all based on my specific, my personal point of view. These are all based on uh, uh, the way I like to learn. And I divided this into certain books that I recommend for basics to get started. But if you already got started, if you're already familiar with Keras and uh, a few things, especially if you are my regular viewer, you're probably at a level where you should probably start looking into something advanced. And I'm going to talk about three books that fall into the advanced category that I put into. So let's go ahead and start by looking at one by one and I'll explain why I am recommending that book or at least I'll talk about what you can expect as part of that book so you can decide whether that is for you or not for you. Starting with the first one. So this is the 100 page machine learning book as the name suggests. It's kind of almost 100 pages and it's easy to understand. This book, I think even if you are advanced or basic or wherever you are, I definitely recommend getting this book. And uh, of course, all the suggestions I'm going to show you, assume that you have Python background. None of these are Python training books. Then you need to take a step back and learn Python first. This assumes that you know Python, you know how to handle NumPy and Pandas and all that stuff. So now you wanna get started with machine learning. So this is a great book to get, uh, get started with. And this is almost a must read for anyone for anyone who'd like to get started with machine learning. And it has uh, many topics. It covers many uh, topics in machine learning, including your traditional machine learning and uh, uh, neural networks. It also talks about uh, model performance parameters, for example, including uh, including uh, a confusion matrix, for example. So these are the things I remember about this book. And this is one of the few books that I kind of uh, read from end to end. Uh, oftentimes you find chapters that you're you know, not relatable, but this one, again, it's only 100 pages, so definitely uh, readable. And uh, like I mentioned, it talks both about the regular machine learning and also the neural networks. Now, moving on to uh, the next book, this is uh, uh, titled Deep Learning with Python, and this is uh, by Francois, I, I don't wanna screw up uh, pronouncing the last name, but anyway, the first name is Francois. And this is another great book, again, that provides the basics of deep learning. And this one also, if you have Python background, you can get started from scratch. If you know nothing about machine learning or deep learning, this can be a very good start. And it's written for people uh, with Python, uh, of course, with Python programming experience, but you want to get started with machine learning. I'm repeating this fact, uh, this point, because this is this is actually a true statement. I, all, I consider these two books and the one I'm going to show you later almost as companions to my YouTube channel, the content that I cover on my YouTube channel. Uh, most of this would be repetition, but then it, it goes obviously into a uh, certain depth. Uh, these, these, uh, this specific book is, I believe, uh, uh, they have two variations of this book. One where the code is all in Keras and the other one is uh, PyTorch. So pick the one that you uh, are comfortable with. I, of course, am a Keras person, so I picked up the one that has Keras examples. <laughs> And uh, there is not much math in this book. Uh, as far as I remember, there is not much math. Most of the concepts are explained using simple code. And that's exactly how I like to learn. Of course, I like to delve into math. I'll talk about those books in a minute. So this is almost, uh, again, another great book that you I definitely recommend. And the next one, I already talked about this book, uh, uh, Automated Machine Learning with Otto Keras. I actually did a separate video reviewing this specific book and uh, as the name suggests, it summarizes the core essence of AutoCares. And this is for those of you who want uh, easy access to these machine learning uh, libraries, machine learning algorithms, it's easier than Keras. So let me put it that way. So uh, again, it definitely includes uh, classification and sentiment analysis, the typical stuff that you would expect uh, a, a machine learning book to have. So moving on to the next one, this is uh, Deep Learning for Computer Vision. I picked this up because I am a image analysis person. So I was uh, expecting uh, 
to, to learn more about computer vision, maybe about uh, OpenCV or deep learning. But this is an okay book, I should say, of all the ones I showed you. This is still, uh, if you really want to get into image analysis, this is not a bad book to uh, pick up. And uh, it explains the basics again, as the other books do, basics of machine learning, basics of neural network, and of course, with a focus on uh, image processing. Uh, there are lots of code snippets uh, that makes it easy for you to understand. But the only issue, the reason I, if you sense a negative tone towards this book, the only reason is because it doesn't talk about semantic segmentation at all. So if you're looking for segmentation, semantic segmentation, I don't have any good books to recommend other than recommending my own channel because I covered this in like at least 50 plus videos. So if semantic segmentation is, an, uh, is something that you would like to focus on, then go ahead and read all of these because you need the knowledge that you are going to gain by reading these books. But on top of that, of course, uh, shameless plug, go ahead, watch other videos on my channel. Okay, now let's move, take this to the next level. So here is a little advanced book. This is, if you really want to call yourself a machine learning engineer or deep learning engineer, uh, and you apply for certain jobs where you're expected to put together these algorithms, uh, you better learn the content in this specific book. It's advanced, of course, like I mentioned, but uh, I definitely recommend reading it. And it's, uh, it's uh, definitely not a book about uh, Keras or uh, any other framework. Yeah, this is a, a general deep learning uh, book. And what does it cover? What topics does it cover? Prepare for math. And it covers uh, linear algebra. This covers uh, uh, other machine learning uh, basics, deep learning optimization, for example. Yeah, and uh, it even covers like autoencoders, for example, if you are looking for something of that sort. But it uses math where it is required. But I find this to have a lot of English and math whenever you need it. So this is a very easy to read book. Don't get me wrong, it's advanced because it covers advanced topics, but it's an easy to read book with some math in it, wherever you need it, okay? So definitely uh, one of the, uh, almost like a Bible for machine learning if you really would like uh, a book as a reference book. Okay, now moving on to the next one, pattern recognition and machine learning. Again, I picked up this book because it says pattern recognition. And uh, this is this turned out to be very advanced and I like it. I mean, I, I, I don't pretend that I understand every page in this book and I don't even, uh, in fact, the top two books, the bottom four, I, I literally did page every page. I mean, I at least looked at them once. These ones, I haven't looked at every page in this book, but I went through the, top, uh, the chapters that I know uh, are beneficial to uh, what I'm looking for, uh, are beneficial to my cause, let's say, in terms of uh, gaining the knowledge and again, using them as part of my projects, as part of my YouTube videos. Okay, so what is this book about? Again, this provides the core essence of machine learning, including, uh, wait for it, probability theory. Okay, and uh, it's got uh, regression. It's got uh, uh, other topics like um, uh, uh, the probabilistic generative and uh, discriminative models. And if none of that makes sense to you, you better pick this book up and then read all of this because uh, if you go to interviews, especially advanced, uh, at, uh, for advanced positions or at bigger companies, you, you'll you probably get questions from these type of books. I mean, I'm not saying you'll get questions right out of this book, but this book captures all the concepts that are probably required for a good deep learning engineer at a specific uh, job location that you're looking for. Uh, not all the skills are required at every place, but uh, like I said, this is one of those other advanced books that I definitely recommend uh, at least having as a uh, reference. Uh, this is super heavy on math. So if you get intimidated by linear algebra, not just linear uh, algebra, but all the advanced math topics that go into deep learning, this is not for you. Definitely not for you. Uh, so of course, like any other math heavy books, it does talk about linear algebra and probability and calculus and uh, statistics. You need to have all that background if you want to fully benefit from reading this book. Okay, I spent too much time talking about this, but I want to make sure you exactly know what the prerequisites are before you pick up this book. Okay, the prerequisites are you need to know statistics, you need to know linear algebra, calculus, and probability. 
If not, this book will not make sense for you for sure. Uh, finally, let me end uh, with this one. This is not definitely, this is not about machine learning or deep learning. This is about artificial intelligence. And I hope most of you know that artificial intelligence is this big uh, uh, topic and machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence and deep learning is a subset of machine learning. So this one is about this entire uh, artificial intelligence uh, and it's, uh, it, it talks about Primarily, it's focused on uh, the foundational artificial intelligence principles. This is definitely very advanced, I would say. And uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm thinking uh, what the chapter names are. Uh, this is one, probably the book where they did not give the chapter names. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, this specific book, it, it does cover the topics that you would think that fall under uh, artificial intelligence. Some of them could be uh, the problem solving and uh, knowledge and reasoning and uh, learning. So these are the topics that this book actually covers. And if you plan on getting this one, I definitely recommend getting the fourth edition. This is a very expensive book. Third edition may be cheaper, but I definitely recommend getting, if you, ha if you plan on getting this one, get the fourth edition of this book because it's uh, rewritten partly. And more importantly, it includes uh, new material, uh, especially in the, on the topics of deep learning and natural language processing. This is over 1,000. If I remember, this is like 1,100 or some pages, and uh, I definitely did not read every page of this book. I read probably 10%, if at all, uh, in this specific book. But this is, again, one of those reference books that uh, you can go back occasionally and then learn about something new as part of your artificial intelligence. Okay, so let me end this video. I don't want to make this any longer. In summary, the bottom left uh, two books, definitely. I mean, I definitely recommend. So if you are absolutely getting started or if you don't like all this math or anything, uh, get these two, the 100 page machine learning book and the deep learning with Python. And the other ones just incrementally move towards these. And if you really want three books, then bottom two and the top one, the deep learning by Ian Goodfellow. If you have these three, then I think you should, you should be almost there. And then everything else just enhances the knowledge that you have uh, uh, in this uh, field of deep learning and machine learning. Okay, thank you guys and have an amazing year 2022. Uh, just learn about new things all the time. And uh, one way to doing that is by subscribing to my channel, liking and commenting and so on. Thank you.